guys, welcome back to Stay Loaded Truck. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, please. Trying to get to 2,000 followers. But anyways, yeah. So we're, we are on our way to Auburn, Washington, the Safeway that they have there. Our appointment is for tomorrow, which is Thursday at 11.30 a.m. And right now we are in, uh, I want to say, Wairica, California. So right now it's 6.30 p.m. And it's saying that we're not going to get there until 4 a.m. in the morning. So that means tomorrow we won't reset until 2 p.m. So we should make it all the way there tonight. And they do have parking there because I have been there before. But one quick thing that I want to mention. When I picked up this load, it was, it's a load of olives. And it's a pretty heavy load. I picked it up in Corning, California. Corning. And uh, yeah, there's a TA, there's a Petro that's like a mile away from where I picked up. So I went there and I got on the cat scale and guess what? The cat scale prices went up again. I think they went up another dollar to 14 or 14.50, 14 or 14.50, which is crazy because when I first started trucking, I think it was like at a 11 or 12 dollars. And then it went up to $13.50 recently. And I could have sworn that was just last year, $13.50. And now it's up to $14.50, which is crazy. They're, they're going up every year a dollar or something. I don't know. But that's just wild. Inflation is real. And yeah, it's, it seems like everything's going up and we're not even getting paid more. We're just getting paid, I guess, just regular, regular crap. So that sucks. So yeah those cat scales man they're not cheap anymore so that's why even sometimes i like i'm like man should i go scale because that's almost like well now it's almost like 15 dollars. that's like a whole meal right there and sometimes i think about it but then i'm like if i am overweight and i get put into like a waste a way station and then that ticket's probably gonna be more expensive so i'm like ah might as well might as well go get weight anyway so yeah but crazy how the prices went up again crazy 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 yeah, so right now I had to stop at the Pilot to grab myself a charger because I have the brand new iPhone now and that, the charger's different than from the 14. Now I have the 15 Plus, so. And I left my charger inside the brown truck and like I said, I'm in the Black Beast. So, I had to spend, I think like $18 on a new charger. All right, you guys, we just stopped here in Cottage Grove, Oregon to fuel up. <sighs> just checked, uh, did my like, a little pre-trip and everything seems good. We're gonna come in here, grab our seat, use the bathroom. This is the cheapest fuel I've put in in a while. Cheapest diesel right now. Diesel over here in Oregon is two ninety-seven per gallon. Crazy. That is crazy cheap. Two ninety-seven a gallon, you guys. So diesel has gone down, which is good. So we went to go check in. It's 9.50 a.m. Our appointment's not until 11.30 a.m. But as soon as I checked in, about a minute later, they called me. And they told me to go to door 246. So we're moving pretty fast right here. Moving on up. Yeah, so we got unloaded at that Safeway pretty fast. Like I said, our appointment wasn't until 11.30 right now, and they got us out at 12, but they did get us in early. So we sat there about for like an hour, hour and a half. But either way, we still got out before our appointment time. But right now we don't have any hours. We don't reset until two. So I'm a drive, I'm a PC over here to the nearest pilot which is like 40 miles away, 45. Cause I need to take a shower and I need to eat cause I am hungry. So that's where we're heading right now. Got my paperwork right here, let me get out the way. That way you guys don't see that glare. But yeah, man, PC is kind of like a, a tricky thing. Like I don't think no one really knows 100% how to use it. But I'm guessing the way I'm using it right now is good. It's legit. But I could be wrong. I 
don't know. Oh, one more thing is my brother, he's in a brown truck and he was at home last night and then this morning he went to Livermore, California to pick up a load to take to, to take back to Yuba City. But when he picked up the load, he drove like a mile and the truck turned off and it wouldn't start again. So he was sitting on an off ramp for about an hour. And then after an hour, he tried to start it again and it started back up. So then he took off and then that's when he finally got a signal or a warning saying that the soot level is really high at max capacity and that's where we're at right now. I think right now he's at the pilot in Lodi. I'm, I think that's where he's at. I'm trying to find a parking sp spot that way he can uh, regen if he can. I've been sending, sending him YouTube videos to, learn, to know how to do it but He's saying it's not working, so I don't know. We'll see though once he actually tries it. And if it doesn't work, then I don't know if I'm just gonna tell him to continue and just try to make it home, or he is right next to Kenworth or just take it to the shop. I I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. This is the crappy part about being an owner operator. So one of the things that needs to be done is a DPF filter needs to be cleaned. Second thing is a turbo VGT. I got to talk to the mechanic a little bit, but I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but he said I might need a new one and something with the NOx, the NOx sensor. So uh, yeah, there's some things wrong with it. It's going to be a little pricey to fix, but at least at the end of the day, I didn't have to get a tow truck, which is pretty good because I, I was so close to calling one because I really didn't think the truck was going to start well. My brother didn't think. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty stressed out, so I'm just going to get it. Stop talking. So, bye.